Hello everybody. Okay, I'm in my workshop today and I'm going to make a batch of these acorn nuts or domed headed nuts, whatever you want to call them, in brass for the top of my valve chest covers. Uh, I know what you're saying, I could go out and buy some yet, but I like to make everything if I can. And I know it's not it's not going to be a video for all you professional machinists out there, you'll know how, you'll know how to do all this. But it's just really for any beginners that's starting out. I've got my Myford lathe set up and it, it only takes five or six operations to make each nut. So they're only working out at a few pence each. So I'll take you over to Myford and we'll have a look at that then. OK then I'm over on my Myford lathe now. Uh, I've got the material set up in my three jaw chuck and this material is quarter AF brass uh, and when I got this material it were a metre long for nine pound and I'm only going to be using 200 millimetre of this material so you, you can work it out for yourself a fifth of nine pound divided by 20 is only pennies for each nut so I've got it stuck out of the chuck seven eighths of an inch or 22 mil approximately and that's enough to do two nuts any more and it's losing its rigidity because of the small cross section so I'm doing two at a time so the procedures are it's going to be 9.30 seconds long this nut with a 4BA hole a quarter deep so you can appreciate it's very very close to this dome there's only a 30 second to play with well, that's how, I, what, that's how I want them to be, but you've just got to be careful with your measurements, that's all. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to centre drill it. That's number one operation. Then I'll go in with a tapping drill for 4BA, which is 1 8th, uh, to a quarter deep. That's number two. Then I'm going to go in with a second tap, as far as that will go. That's number three. Then I'm going to bottom it out with this bottoming tap to get to the bottom of the blind hole that's number four and then the rest of the procedures are done with this one tool so I've ground this tool up now just ignore the back of this tool because that's remnants of, of a previous life it had so we're just talking about up to where my rule is there so I've put the radius on to give me the correct radius then at the edge of the radius there I've put a 45 degree chamfer then I've also double, uh, trebled it up as a parting tool to part it off at the same time and then I've put some clearance on this edge to use as a facing tool to face the burr off with it, what the tap leaves and I'm going to be using my depth my depth uh, gauge set at 9.30 seconds each time to get the relevant depth like that. Right, I've just got to polish that up now. So I've got me, I've got me, me dome. I've got me chamfer on the front edge, on the top edge rather. I've got me 4BA tapped hole.
and uh, I'll sign off for now then and catch you on the next video. Bye for now then.